such kind words of chance. I hope you can see my slide now. Case, title slide. Yeah, it's... Okay, so uh, I'm talking about. Uh, It is best okay. So um, obviously we have the good uh, ISPED guidelines. When talk too much about patient, have a intensive care unit, have a sick child or adult. Okay. Um, so if you don't have uh, most important thing. Prevention. And in terms of prevention, uh, one of the things that has been tried in is that you awareness. And for example, volunteer diabetes, nursing or locker room, pharmacy, emergency, that they know the, the four T signs of early diabetes. That somebody goes to the toilet very often, thirsty, tired, then you should think of diabetes, thereby detecting it and avoiding that the trouble happening. So, next step of course, healthcare professional need to be able to ask questions relatives, extremely ill children, adolescents, adults, any nighttime um, going to the toilet. Uh, are there ants inside of your kitchen? Uh, unexplained weight loss. One of these questions, yes, then please immediately but look for you. Um, the diagnosis and for those who have already, it is the task of us, healthcare professionals, care of, understand which patients are at great risk of having it while on. So those who have a lack of it, lack of insulin, and we know that they have trouble with diabetes, those who consumed alcohol. Those particularly are having people that victims of uh, other deep sometimes call them not a very language free bias because so in general young adulthood now how can we help the people Diabetes then what they should know and what they should look. But I think it's important very often when they have no uh, have abdominal pain when they are vomiting, they think it has to do that they had something. I try to tell those diabetes that I care, okay, whenever you have those symptoms, first whether you might have had two, and that might uh, have to be sure that you don't have a DK, and then you can talk about food. And if there is any doubt, please help, because that's often. So then, of course, they have to know how to detect it. They don't have any strips very often. Smell is something others can. Uh, this breath has a particular smell of key. Obviously, the best way, but not check phones, but we talk about limited resources. And so probably the most likely resource that we have is uh, to, and to measure ketones is not uh, uh, that difficult. Uh, so this should send somebody in the family uh, to a pharmacy to get one of these. And if you have ketones, well, then 
are highly uh, likely AYU. But of course, we have to know a little more about it because there are many other ketone bodies can also be not DP, particularly fasting. Example, Ramadan uh, uh, might issue, uh, and, and those who have a diet. So you have to, of course, also to they detect only a acetate, not beet uh, like but uh, hydroxybutyl is a much more sensitive, much quicker way, also much quicker in detecting, uh, evolving, cause a bit acid increase. I have to. So, depending on when you're able to measurement, then you can uh, actually kind of like a traffic light. Once you have trace or fall or 1.5 millimeters, uh, it's important to understand that the only way glucose on the one hand and insulin on the other hand, because you need the German professors say the burn in the fire of glucose have kind of again an anabolic situation with glucose and with insulin, then the way. Uh, so look at common uh, protocols or wallet card, have patients, patients have a cell phone. Why shouldn't they picture of uh, one of these uh, emergency they understand that they need to give insulin, give more insulin, have a high glucose. That is our vision glucose chain metabolism. But you need more insulin. And uh, that will. So what type of a supportive measure in other people? Well, obviously, exercise can can eat genesis. Oh, exercise when you have a high glue, uh, when you are unsure. When Very important, do not stay alone. And stay. Because on, you might lose, might need help. Uh, 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 have no yeah, drink by sip one and a half to one liter. Of course, you are, have blood glucose hours. Those of therapy are very easy, of course. Get then done in correct the dehydration, try to correct the acid. the blood glucose monitor for patients and moment and also once the of figure out identify what was the present and make sure that this then so <clears throat> if IV fluids are not available no venous access have uh, no uh, canola as I said sips, salty fluid, coconut water is recommended by some since high in sodium can be given possible vomiting. There is vomiting for people drowsy to drink can be given by an azacast 30 percent lower rate than <coughs> and in tolerated. If the person is drowsy, the healthcare person should consider balance between risk of aspirate circulation. One of the things you have to take guidelines if you have a heading unexpected uh, emergency when they see an um, acidosis they are very quick bicarbonate therapy but for deep bicarbonate not recommended 
because bicarbonate does not transfer a barrier, thereby bicarbonate normalization of the blood, but on the other hand, have a paradoxic liquid acid and so uh, you only carbonate. Now, if you're in a resource, uh, um, this might then also ask the question, can I give IV in subcutaneous? So actually, subcutaneous, or if you have a bad circulation, even intramuscular, rapid or also rapid acting, it's protected every four to hours, respectively, might be a very good uh, possible. And uh, so, uh, uh, there are guidelines out there published diabetes um, that uh, the idea of um, uncom mild to moderate A and um, uh, should sure also at once cause seventy grams order to avoid hypoglycemia. And uh, start with 0.5 units per hour uh, after IV. And uh, then so if we look at uh, this for something up, so you have to, uh, uh, possibilities if you subcutaneous have an uh, choose have units every two hours subcutaneous or intramuscular if you are able to have it then it now uh, finally I want to focus a little possibility and the competition is terrible. Now I'll come to this in a moment. Also, have to watch the potassium. The potassium is very, very high uh, because uh, change uh, carbonate. Um, so, though you have a very high uh, uh, potassium, it's actually low because us have to replenish uh, uh, potassium. Take care ready when normal or normal to add uh, potassium to it. And of course, glucose. Okay, and, uh, now, how do we recognize cerebral ED? Some child, adolescent, young adult has a Personally, should uh, red light should go off you. Any mental status, very restless, irritable, drowsy, all of a sudden have uh, incontinence. Down to neurological cranial nerve pulse. Those are already uh, child has stopped vomiting and then starts vomiting later on. You have to Sure, this is not cerebral. And the first thing you do is look for mannitol. Mannitol is not expected. Mannitol is something that should be. Um, you cannot do something wrong. So, if you are suspecting, then simply mannitol, give mannitol 1.0.5 uh, to 1 gram per kilo. IV ten to very quick around fifty at the latest that the cerebral situation of this child is improved. Can of course repeat there is also reports that you can hypertonic saline. Um, so these are actually life saving and damage uh, and you can also whenever you are uh, have the feeling 
could be severability. Help you to save the child. So, uh, in closing, I hope I have given you an overlook uh, uh, over the. Also, um, not so. Uh, um, definitely very important. There are geographic constraints, and you initiate a treatment center with. Try to phone the conference or expert. Don't do it by cloud. I to get help. Uh, uh, hope I have helped you a little. Reference about uh, uh, how. To and I would. Thank you. Thank you.